Season three, episode two, it is Christina K and Kevin Cobayas. Yes, we are both on the same coast, but every once in a while we're going to do Zoom. So deal with it. It's 2022. Zoom's Listen, thing. <laughs> this is how it is now. Okay. This is the world. Just because we're on the same coast doesn't mean we have to be together. Okay. What do we have to physically be together? In per- I'm sorry. I'm getting very defensive over starting nothing. <laughs> I know. Why am I starting out so hot? Jeez, I should like ramp up to such hotness. But no, I'm at home. You're at home. We're having a yeah. great time. Recording it's a late home. show for us. So. We're safe. We're safe at home. It's 2020. Oh wait, no, we're not. No, it's, no, it's 2022. No. Never mind. But okay. If you Sorry. remember, because you and I usually tend to do these earlier in the day. We um do. The so the last time we did a late one, Kev, things got a little slap happy. You, you tell me. <laughs> can you refresh my memory? I don't remember, but I just remember afterwards being that thinking either that was so good. Or so bad and I that, just remember it being a lot of positive feedback so. we were thinking one of two like that was amazing that was the best thing we've ever done <laughs> or both of them are drunk and doing a podcast why why are they doing their podcast for the record we've never done it drunk we've never done the we're not, we're, water water okay water. water water wait hold on uh Poland Cheers. spring black cherry sparkling what? water because Christina I'm fancy. I'm, I'm fancy like that I'm fancy but yes I um, it was a thing Oh, it's a thing. It's a thing and it's real. And uh, seltzer has consumed my life in every form. Okay. Is that I dr- seltzer? I drink these. Well, I mean, it's like a sparkling water, like a seltzer okay, type drink. Yeah, yeah. Carbonated water. I don't know. I call it all seltzer. I don't know. <laughs> Technically, I'm not correct, but yeah, I don't know. Wait, is that what um, I don't think I've ever had seltzer, actually? Is that what it serious? is? Carbonated, yes, water. carbonated I don't, water. Do you I not? Don't, fun fact about me wait, 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 I wait. don't like soda. So oh, I, anything carbonated, yeah. I just don't. Oh See, uh, man, we've been friends for so long and I didn't know this about you yeah, and I'm sorry. judging you. I'm judging you a little <laughs> bit. No, see, I love the seltzer. So clearly when you, uh, when you have an adult beverage, you're not. No, I can't soda. with soda. Wait, wait, no, 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 not, not just in the, soda. In the beverage. No, I'm talking about the spiked seltzers that are all the rage oh, with the kids I, okay. these days. Do like, you like, like those? A white claw, like a white claw. Yeah. Like a white claw. I can cheers with a white claw. Yeah. Um, but like, I just, <laughs> Okay. I just okay. feel like yeah. the alcohol negates the carbonation a little bit. I don't know. Yeah. Science. I don't know. <laughs> hey, listen, that's fine. You know, you got the white claws, you got the Trulies, you got the Bud Light. Uh, yeah. The, the, just all of them. There, there's a billion. No, I don't now. do the Bud Light. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 You're probably yeah. better off not doing the Bud Light. You guys um, are learning so much about our beverage of choice. <laughs> I know. I know. It gets real exciting when we do. Uh, <laughs> late and, night when we, when we do k and kev after dark it's like the late night version okay um the scary version let's let's move on i'm sorry what are we talking about this week christina there's actually a lot going on so you just had a bunch of trips that you went on i had a few we I did not few. go to disney it's fine whatever no i didn't go to disney uh, i went to orlando i did not go to disney I know, but you were in Disney when I was in Disney, so that's the most important thing. I was Disney together. <laughs> listen, I was Disney adjacent, and so you know I was close to Disney. Yeah, yeah I was. I was in the Disney proximity. Okay, mm. the, the mouse yeah, was in stretch. The, the mouse was in the air. You know, if I maybe I couldn't see him. The but, mouse is more in the air in my apartment than. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> maybe I couldn't see the mouse, but I could feel the mouse. Okay, you feel it. all right. She was all right, there. All right. I heard a ha ha off in the distance. I heard one. I was like, oh, where's that coming from? Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, Orlando was a lot of fun. Went down there with family. Uh, got a lot of sun. Got zero tan, as is always the case. But you didn't get burnt either. So went, there's went, that. Went right back to being really mm-hmm, incredibly mm-hmm. white and then uh yeah now i'm back um yeah i went away from my brother's uh uh he's getting married so uh yeah. it was a bachelor party went upstate new york went to saratoga hung out with him nice and all of his all of his buddies and had an amazing weekend uh yeah so it's been an eventful time and and, and how, yeah. about your, how about yourself have you been i mean away? i'm i'm away. getting ready so the last time i was getting away ready was when you were away, away when we were in disney we talked about that oh in the last God. episode what a but time in that a matter was. it was great in a matter of days, I'm about to embark on another adventure slash adventures because <laughs> it's it's just wild. So we did the Disney cruise in July and we were invited back on a Disney cruise uh, yeah. for September. We knew that we couldn't say anything about that. The reason why we don't say these things is because other things happen and Disney had another incredible opportunity for us um, to go to. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Yeah, for this? yeah please. Ready for this? I've, yeah, I've been waiting. Hawaii. 
no! Disney's resort in Hawaii. Ooh. So let's go. I know. So I mean, I'm going to be doing you. my show from the Disney resort in Alani in Hawaii. I still can't believe that I'm going to Hawaii. Like it just hasn't really like Unbelievable. Yet. Yeah. But before that, before we get to Hawaii, wait, wait, we there's have to more? Stop. Oh, there's more. You have to make a detour. Currently, currently on the station, we're giving away okay. a trip to Turks and Caicos. Mm -hmm. So I get to go to the beaches, Turks and Caicos, do my show there for a couple of days. And then Come from on. Turks and Caicos, fly to Hawaii. It's like Turks to Miami, to Vegas, to Hawaii. Christina, so, Christina you're telling me that before you go to Hawaii, you have to yeah. slum it, you have to slum know, it, right? Turks and Caicos. This is the a number terrible... one beach in the world, apparently, according to TripAdvisor. This I got to is... slum it at that they're, beach. They're, they're really... <laughs> They're really making I, you do some some hard work over there. This is incredible. This is very I'm exciting. I'm freaking out. Yeah, I'm freaking out. How, um, how do you how do you feel about the the upcoming trip? I mean, what are what, what are the I'm, main emotions? I'm stoked. I yeah, you yeah. know we give away a, quite a few trips to Turks and Caicos, and yeah. all our listeners just rave about how beautiful it is, or how they've always wanted to go there. And mm -hmm. I want to say in April we gave away a trip to Turks and Caicos, and I remember thinking you know, that's someplace I'd like to visit, but I probably would never get the opportunity. And then bam, Until <laughs> it pops up. And just then, when you thought that, boom, mm -hmm. there you go. And that's then finding amazing. out, like going from there to then Hawaii, my head is just spinning. Um, Cause that's like, they're both bucket list things and to happen at Absolutely. the same time. And then what's even more wild is I, I fly back home for one singular day. <laughs> That day, I will give away the trip to Turks and Caicos to a lucky listener, and the following day, I leave to go back to Walt Disney World. <laughs> Wait, is there any particular that that's just the way the trip aligned? Is that yeah? It just okay. was one day to come back home and then go to Disney World, and it's so wild because when I'm in Disney World, I have like other like cool stuff that I'm going to be doing for my yeah. YouTube channel, but also I get to chat with, and I'm pretty sure it's public knowledge that he's got new stuff on the way. I get to chat with Louis Capaldi. So I'm yeah, really you do. Excited. Oh my God, he's a beast. He's a beast. He's wait, he's awesome. Wait, he's got new music out. Yeah. So by the time this is going out to the public, the song will be out. And since Kevin, you know, we're recording this on Thursday night, you have not heard the song yet. Let me tell no. you. Oh, it is so good. Well, it's I, probably well, one of the, and like I don't say this lately. It's probably one of the best new songs I've heard in a while well here's the deal i know you've heard the song because you're a very important yeah. person you probably heard the song like three years ago but for three all us <laughs> for all for all us normies like me okay <laughs> i'm a, I'm over here waiting for the music to drop but wait i, I saw something online they had a little teaser for uh mm -hmm, like on, on mm -hmm. twitter i was yeah. on the twitters and i saw the teaser <laughs> the for this song i was on there and uh and i saw just a snippet of the song and i was like oh that's really yeah good. yeah, yeah. I mean, that guy's voice is uh it's electric he's just got like some some set of pipes on him so i'm yeah. really excited for the song to drop and uh, i can't Me wait to hear too. it now with all this hype so what, do you, what are you doing with him i need to know we're i can't i can't really I no guess, come on i don't know no, what i can say don't, don't say it um, don't say it if you don't if funny. you don't think you could say it you probably can't yeah say it. i don't i don't really know That's um okay. i've signed so many ndas non-disclosure agreements in the past couple of weeks that i can't yeah. remember what's been released and what's not yet so right so it's weird um but what a, i will what, say with what his about song, what about the agreement that i made you sign that said screw the ndas tell kevin everything he wants to know oh this right here yeah i didn't actually officially yeah. sign it yeah, oh you no, didn't sorry. sign it yet no, i thought you you no. just ripped you ripped it up i mean i wrote it on no. a napkin it's not very official but still okay there was a ketchup stain so i just thought it negated it yeah, um it's fine. No. yeah well i'm very i'm very i'm very messy when i eat christina but continue please <laughs> so I remember talking to Lewis in 2020, it was during yeah. the pandemic and we did Zoom. I think he was like the very first person I did a Zoom interview with. And I remember talking to him about the pressure he felt with coming out with the second album after how big the first one went. Yeah. And I remember being nervous for him. So a lot of times Patrick Shea and I will get an email from a record label. Hey, this day at this time, we're gonna play this artist. It happened when we heard Ed Sheeran Bad Habits, like we were signing on to the Zoom. Mm -hmm. And we were both like, oh God, what if it's bad? It's been so long since he had new music, what if it's bad? And Louis Capaldi, I felt like it was like my child performing at a concert. And I was like, 
oh come on you could do it you could do it you could do it and then as soon as it started i was like that's yes! my boy yeah that's, <laughs> that's my, my boy, boy. oh like my god <laughs> that's um isn't it so funny that even with like uh, of course you're gonna feel that way because it's been yeah. a minute since music dropped right obviously the talent is yeah. undeniable with a lewis capaldi with a with an ed sheeran but like Oh, yeah. Still, you never know, know. Yeah. Because, because if we're being in all sincerity artists do uh, artists miss you know they they, they, they they drop new music and it doesn't catch on i mean yeah. it, it we, we've seen it before we'll see it again but yeah. having right. said that it didn't happen with ed because <gasps> all of ed stuff was freaking was great as the as the kids would say it was flames i'm not, i don't know why fire emoji it was fire emoji Pew, pew. yeah it was great um <laughs> uh, they don't the kids don't do that by the way pew, pew, pew. That was we're, the, we're the worst god. millennials ever <laughs> oh my god millennials are like oh my god wait that's what, what we are funny. right we're, millenn we're millennials we're, we're millennials but yeah even, we are but even the, millenni even, even the millennials are embarrassed for me uh yeah, yeah. they're just like please stop doing what you're doing but but yeah it's with lewis he's so good um i'm so sure the good. new song is going to be just great and i'm very excited to hear it and yeah. I, I can't wait to hear what y'all are doing together i just want to yeah i mean i'm excited collab. yeah all that yeah i'm excited to to be working with him um you know kevin i'm really i just realized you're wearing a new york ranger shirt right now yeah i am the night oh. we're filming this the nfl is back i thought for sure you would have like a jet shirt on or you well, just like Christ, christine i'm not saying that the the nfl game is on somewhere in this room right now it might be. It I mean, it might be. It might be. I'm not watching it. Oh, my intent. My attention is, you know, clearly <laughs> right here. But um, yeah, no, I'm just keeping it, you know, real with all the sports. I got my I'm repping my Rangers, which I know is kind it's of New York. It's good. It's New York. It's not great because, you know, I'm from the island and should probably be an Islanders fan, but I'm repping the Rangers. Sorry. Deal with it. Deal with it, people. But yeah, They're, I am rep. Wait, is that I, a thing? I, I, if I, you're I from the island, you have to be an Islanders fan? No, New York's I New mean, York. I mean, no, but you know, you probably should be, right? I mean, I don't know. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Fans. I don't know who makes the rules, Christina. I, you know, some people say that if you're from it's the island, rule book. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest. I grew up 10 minutes from the Coliseum. I should That's probably, right. I should probably, like, it's a little different with you, you know, growing up out on the island and whatnot, but like, for me, like I, I'm pretty close. Mm. I should probably, yeah. I mean, look, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, my allegiances lie where they lie and uh, I don't feel too badly about it, but yes, NFL season starts tonight. Very exciting stuff. Um, and I can't wait to are uh, as Christina said, we're filming this on a Thursday evening. Yeah. Um, I can't wait until Sunday for the first Jets loss of the, of the year. It's not, it's not the fall until the Jets just fall yep. on their face you know what i mean it's just it's not yeah yeah so anyway. well it's still technically summer so maybe because it's summer maybe they'll have a good start to the season and then when fall hits well pew. you know what that is, oh back with the pew pew yeah pew. listen listen you know i appreciate your optimism but you know my optimism is always very short-lived i get excited i'm like oh they're back and then yeah. i start watching and i'm like oh yeah oh it's, not that's my team and they're yeah. you know, mostly terrible but we'll see we'll see what happens <laughs> new year new year new well, excitement wishing you you and your team all well, the best thank you i appreciate that 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 minute to devote to sports i appreciate thank that. you thank you thank and you. that's all you get um, i know i know that was painful for you i know it was tough for you yes no, i initiated it I, it's all you me. did you did that was very that was very kind of you i, I want to revisit welcome. these trips for a second yeah so Look, when you went on that Disney cruise, it was just jam packed. The itinerary, mm -hmm. meeting amazing people. What yes. can can you disclose? I'm, I'm just trying to get all the deets out of you. Right, can you right. Disclose any of the info of this Turks and Caicos? Anything well, about it? Is there anything you can kind of shed some light on? Maybe? Uh, no, because I don't know much. Honestly, oh, I still okay. haven't gotten okay. my itinerary yet. Yeah, um, yeah. I should have, I probably will have it the minute I upload this, but as of now, I don't, but just follow us on social media, the walk 97.5 and my Boom. personal social media um, to see everything as it happens. And every trip that I go on, that I do my show live for, we give away trips. So we'll have Turks and Caicos. And then right after that, we'll have a trip to Hawaii. So amazing. there's like amazing, amazing things coming on our airwaves soon. And then Walt Disney World, we won't have the trip for. That's just for my own personal uh enjoyment but i'll but, take you along for the ride <laughs> but but you said along the way you're going to be creating content for your page mm -hmm. for that right oh yeah fantastic yeah. okay great so it's going it. to be cool um so also when we think of like the fall aside from like football returning yes we think of shows coming back we think i of do maybe 
American Idol eventually. I don't know um, what that is, but okay, the, I'll take your word for it, it. You know, Kevin, it's this show that a lot of people have gotten their start on. It's it's a singing competition. Is that right? Um, yeah, yeah, and oh. some people go on it from Long Island, and then yeah. get like this nickname of a Disney character. It is what it is. I mean, um, maybe, yeah. <laughs> this none of this rings a bell. Can I tell you? Can I tell you something? Uh, this is that was an amazing segue into this next topic. I was getting a haircut the other day, and this woman was asking about me. And Idol got brought up, and she's like, "I don't know what that is. I don't know. She just didn't know. She wasn't aware." It's been on for twenty years. She's like, "What do they do on there?" And all. I mean, she was like, "Ask me about myself," and then I kind of led there, and yeah, I felt stupid for having brought it up. You know, I was like, "Oh, I've said too much. Why did I say this?" She doesn't even know what it is. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was Kelly Clarkson. Ah, maybe not. No, maybe. I mean, I would, I would hope, I would hope that she's heard of Kelly Clarkson. Anyway, I'm sorry. I can't believe. Being of Kelly, like she just celebrated her 20th anniversary of winning Idol. She, I remember that like it was yesterday. Well, that was that was beautiful. I did see that. That was amazing. Kelly, yeah. props, props to Kelly, by the way. Uh, talk show going into what year three? Apparently four. I think it's no, season four. You're right, four. Yeah. Uh, going into season four, killing it in the ratings. Um, she's just. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she's it's the best. The new she's, Ellen. I mean, yeah, she seems a little happier than Ellen. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but Ellen was pretty happy when she started. I feel like the bigger oh. you get, the, you know. That's fair. Yeah. Wait, wait, do we just have a disagreement on Kay and Kev? You and I never disagree on anything. I feel like we do disagree. I feel like we're disagreeing on the fact that we don't disagree right now. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know what? You're probably right. See, <laughs> this is what happens when I have one too many Poland Spring black cherries. <laughs> I get a little loopy. Uh, l- let's get back that on carbonation, course. Carbonation, man. <laughs> I, t- I took us off the beaten path with that weird haircut story. Let's get back to it, okay? It wouldn't be shows, if you did it. <laughs> boom. New shows are coming out. Tell so, me more about the new shows. Idol. American so, Idol for one. I want to yeah. talk about two Idol alums let's that go. Like, let's go. Are, in, are making headlines right now. One was the winner the season after yours, Jordan Sparks. She is going to be season on season 350, whatever it is, of Dancing with Stars. Christy and I saw this. I saw that she's going to be on it. Um, yeah. But more so than that, I saw who, um, who else is going to be on it. Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady, who's- I'm unbe- pegging him as the winner. Listen, I love Jordan. I've met Jordan. She is one of the sweetest people. I yeah. love her. And I think she's- incredibly talented i think she's wonderful wayne brady one of the most talented people in hollywood mm-hmm. no li- no lies here okay the guy can sing he can act he can dance he does it all he's a he's a supreme talent who the hell is everyone else on this season um, oh my sam god champion the weatherman from good I'm morning s- america i'm sorry i do love sam champion he's 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 new york why but yeah, why? First off, um, you lose me with the Jersey Shore. I know everybody loves the Jersey Shore. Right. Sorry. I will say he is the sweetest person that I've met from the Jersey I'm Shore. I'm sure Vinny is lovely. Um, I don't really care because I don't care about that show. Sure, but, sure. But, you know, I don't care else, about the show either. Everyone else loves that show. But some of these, look, even even Vinny, Vinny's like a, Vinny's like Brad Pitt compared to some of these other people they got on this season. Um, Selma Blair is pretty big. I love Selma Blair. You keep naming people that people know, so it's making me look stupid. I'm talking about like the TikTok girl. I'm yeah, sorry. With her, her mom. Who cares? Listen, um, she's a big TikTok star. Okay, that's fine. Why is her mother on it? I don't. I don't yeah, know what's going on here. This is very strange to me. I wish I could answer that question for you. I Who else? Um, uh, uh, Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger Jesse... is a kid on there. Okay. Oh yeah, the aspiring actor. The aspiring actor, not the really, uh, not the one who's pretty successful, but the aspiring one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jesse James Decker, the country singer. Okay. I've, okay. I don't. I've heard, I don't. I, I couldn't tell you any of her songs. I've um, heard of her. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. There was a couple of other people, but like, oh, the current Bachelorette. There's always like that weird grouping of reality people. Who are you? Oh wow, they actually got that. Oh, is their career not doing anything where they have to go on the show? Like those are the four groups. I'm it is, <laughs> it is. And, and then, and then incorporated in there are those like ABC plugs, like in this case yes. with, with the bachelorette, it's like, okay, let's just give our own some more yeah. press and pop yeah. here. Listen, I just, yeah, I look, I've never been a big dancing with the stars guy. Um, I have a lot of uh, respect for those that do it. Um, it's some of my like most exciting stories and, 
Hollywood were like related to that show because Idol would film next door. I've told yeah. stories on this podcast about it. Um, Idol would film on the same st- uh, soundstage or or ne- the soundstage next door, I should say, to Dancing with the Stars and like huge celebrities obviously coming through there. Met Michael Bublé through that show, met <laughs> Hall, Hall of Fame receiver that you won't care about this one as much. Hall of Fame receiver, one of, one of the greatest wide receivers of all time, Jerry Rice. I got to meet him. Like I met other oh, people. I remember when he was on Dancing with the Stars. That's how I know. Yeah, him. yeah, and he was awesome. And I was like a little kid. I was like, "You're yeah. Jerry Rice." It was unbelievable. But you know, I just I've never been a huge fan of the show, and uh, it's it's also interesting now that the show is transitioning to Disney Plus. Or, or yeah, it's weird. Transitioning. It's just moving. It's yeah, just gonna it's be just on there. Disney Plus. Yeah, it's just gonna be there. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really have a difference on how I feel about the cast. It's probably not going to make me watch it. I'll be, I'll watch those people yeah. like Jordan Sparks or Wayne Brady. I'll watch their clips on YouTube. Honestly, absolutely. That's absolutely. what I will do with a show like that. Yep. Something that I am very excited about, though, my buddy Nick Fradiani, season. I forgot which season he won. Can you? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Which season see- did he win? Can you tell me? There's the Google. Um, We're going to figure this out. Man, I don't, it was before it moved to ABC. Um, okay. Do you have any guesses? I'm going to say like maybe 14. I'm going to say he won season okay. 11 of Idol. Yeah, that's probably. 11. That says, what does that say? 14th season? Oh, great. Wow. How many how many seasons hey. <laughs> of this show have there been? Holy smokes. A lot. 14. But, okay, yeah, 14. Great. So our buddy, Nick Fradiani, I am so proud of him. He is going to be on Broadway. Yeah. I am. So he's playing Neil What's Diamond playing? on Broadway. Are you serious? I am like that's incredible. So freaking proud of him. Yeah. Congrats to Mr. Fradiani. Yeah. That's incredible news. So wow. I think th- I think the show opens in November, so I will definitely be there. I'm trying to get him on K and Kemp before too, because amazing. Yeah. You guys haven't interacted before. We've you we've, met we've never met. Um, he's a very talented dude, and I look forward to meeting him one day. And uh, yeah. I know through you, I'm sure I'll have that opportunity at some point. And uh, wow, what an incredible opportunity. When, when, so now, now, when does he make his Broadway debut? When When is the show kicking off? Do you know? November. I don't remember the exact Ooh. date. And honestly, I don't know if they release the exact date. I don't know what I can say. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, I am. I'm super, super proud of him. Let me, let me see if I, be. let me see if I can say that. <laughs> I don't even know if I can say when it kicks off uh you might not be able to don't worry about it i'm asking all the wrong questions tonight usually i ask all the right questions tonight i don't think i've asked one correct question on this this yeah i don't think i can say well don't say but it's called a beautiful noise musical the story of the legendary neil diamond neil diamond wow i'm so excited for him um so yeah it's amazing gonna be on the great white way and i'm gonna I'm going to visit because he's you must, been working at that for a while. You must be incredibly excited. I am. Because he was just off Broadway in a Bronx tale. He was uh, Chaz Palminteri's character yeah. in a Bronx tale. And he was really pushing for it. And I know when I first met Nick, he was talking about how all these other, like David Cook and like all these people were like making the Broadway transition. And he wanted to do that. And yeah. that was quite a few years ago. So he's been working hard at this. And what a great first role to play Neil Diamond. I mean, who doesn't know Neil Diamond? Well, I mean, and, and it just goes to show that hard work pays off, right? You've been having, yeah, these dis- exactly. you've, been ha- you've been having these discussions with him for a while and like he's continued to work at his craft and, and, yeah. I'm, sh- and I'm sure he's just done nothing but get, I mean, always that musical talent, but I'm sure he's just gotten better and better as a, yeah. as, as a stage performer. And like, that, what a thrill that must be. Oh my God. It, I'm very, I'm very excited for him. That's so cool. It's so cool. Like we were saying earlier with like Lewis and stuff. I feel like when I interview these people and then they talk about something they want to accomplish and then when it happens, I'm like, I'm so proud. Yeah, of course <laughs> I had you nothing are. to do with it, but I, I, but I feel like it was a part of their journey. I don't know. It's I had, just, I, don't know. I had nothing to do with it, but I feel like it's because of me, you know, I feel like I got it that for him. I yeah. did it. Yeah. No, li- listen, I know, ex- I know exactly how you feel. Yeah. Like, he, like obviously he's become I, I mean, I'd say he's become a friend of yours. Like you guys have, have you know, have, have you know, inter- you've interviewed him multiple times and like, you know, interacted yeah. with him a lot. So it's like, 
to see someone like that have success, like you must be thrilled for them, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm I'm so excited for him. Well, so. as a fellow idol alum, I'm thrilled for him. I think that's yeah. wonderful. Wait, is, is so is that those are the two pieces of idol news you said? Wait, isn't yeah, the, unless uh, there's something else that I don't Oh, isn't there a third one? Isn't uh, uh, uh Jennifer Hudson? Didn't she get in another uh, talk show now too? Didn't you hear this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like in <laughs> Kelly where Kelly Clarkson's spot was, and now she like leads into Kelly Clarkson or this? something. Did why are, why are they? I don't know. I don't know. What? Why are? I, she could be good. I don't really know much about like Jennifer Hudson, like as a person. So I don't know what she'll bring to the talk show. I feel like we knew Kelly Clarkson as a person because she's yeah. just such a big character that it was yeah. like she's gonna be perfect. Jennifer Hudson might be fantastic. I, I just I don't know. I don't I'm know. sure I, I don't know she's her well talented. enough either. I've never met her. Um, I I never thought she would want to do it. She didn't strike me as the type who'd want to do a talk show. So it's like. That's very interesting to me. She's got the egot. Yeah. She's won all the awards. She's uh, she's she's just, you know an amazing talent. But uh, is it'll, she it'll, it'll, it'll be, winner? Uh, apparently, that's what she I. Got an I think she oh. did. Oh come on! Don't don't do this right now. What if I'm wrong? I just heard. Um, while I'm. She got the I'm egot. She got it. Though, she got it. Just tell me. She got um, it. Um, while I'm googling this. Yes. Did you see that the Emmys were over the weekend and Adele and Eminem are now one award away from being an EGOT winner? They both each need a Tony. Oh, I think amazing. we need the Eminem Adele musical Tony Award winner right there. Well, listen, Eminem on Broadway. It makes sense. I would I would go. I would go go check out his show. Are you looking this up right now? Oh, did she just get the Emmy? Because like it's yeah, like she fresh have, in yeah. the news. Yeah, 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 yeah. According to Rolling Stone, Jennifer Hudson says she's still processing her EGOT status. It blows me away. Kevin Kobe told you, one for one. Told you. One for one. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Yep. Beep, okay. beep, beep. Did you ever watch, oh my you ever watch Superstore? Um, no. There's a character that always goes, meow, meow. <laughs> okay. Do, do you like it's Superstore? So I love Are you a fan? Superstore. People, I am. People love Superstore. I I'm am. Miss, it's, I'm, I recommend I'm it. I'm missing out, apparently. Jeez. Do you have the Hulu? It's on the Hulu. I have the Hulus. Uh, I have that. I have that. Yeah, I got it. I'll watch have to check Hulus. it out. I'll watch it. You still have to watch out. Pam and Tommy on the Hulus. Well, I got to watch Pam and Tommy. Are you watching uh, House of Dragon? No. Oh, come on. I what? don't watch Game of Thrones. What was that reaction? That was like the weakest reaction. You reacted as though I named some like obscure, like freaking show off, off some K- off. I- off some cable network in the in the 300 channels that nobody would ever watch it's house of dragon it's it's no. in the game of thrones family come on christine but i haven't i didn't watch game of thrones so i watched the ed sheeran episode that was it so i don't know that i would enjoy unacceptable house of the dragon well Not house, of, no house of dragon is fantastic I love it. I'm sure. Um, I've heard good things. And check it out once you've watched all of Game of Thrones, which should only take you about, you know, three years, f- five weeks or whatever, if you marathon it. Um, and you yeah. can watch that and then you can watch the other show and you can tell me what you think. But anyway, the only reason I had a reaction is because you knew the answer to that. <laughs> I didn't know the answer to that. All right. So let's wrap it up with our questions. And Nancy from oh, okay. Space sent a really good one. So she teaches let's third go. grade and her classroom theme is bravery so she wanted to know what is the thing that you were so scared to do but you are glad you did no you got to go first you i need I to feel hear like this waking, first for you wake getting out of bed in the morning <laughs> i won't be scared to do that yeah. um what is something i think that maybe oh god so many things like going for auditions or yeah yeah um even just like putting my demo together for on the air i never did i don't do scary things like i don't jump out of a plane I'm scared to go to haunted houses and I don't do that. I'm glad I don't do them. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I have an answer I, for that. Really. It's, it's a, it's such a great question. I'd say it my, really is. I'd say my very first time performing live and I'm trying to think, I mean, I, I'd say like my first show, which was Greece in middle school and getting up and singing beauty school dropout as the teen angel, because I was absolutely terrified i was so scared i've told this yeah. story here and many other places i was staring at the wall the whole time but i was so proud of myself when it was over like i'd done it and it was like i was so relieved that i'd done yeah. it and it was but it was excitement too so i'd say that very first live performance which led to a lot more performing and a lot more that? and that's a wonderful question so i think Following yeah doing, dreams. doing that as a kid i was very nervous but very glad I did it and I took the leap and I'm very happy about it. Yeah. I love that answer. That was so much better than my 
<laughs> Christina's like, She's Kevin, not- I love that answer. That's so much better than the rest of this podcast that you've done, which wasn't gr- your best. But no, you, but you really brought it home in the last in the last couple of couple of minutes there. But uh, but yeah, so there you go. So we will talk to you guys after all of the trips. Don't forget, you can yeah, enter go to win trips. them. Walkradio.com, all the info. Follow us on social media. And I guess after all the many trips, Kev, I'll see you then. <laughs> oh, I'm going to see you soon. All right. Sounds good. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>